that Lord, you will meet each and every one of us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. And that we are also here to worship you, Lord, that you'll bring us to the place of worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray also that as many as want to be part of this, that are sleeping off or something because the enemy is causing them to sleep off, right now we ask that you send your angels to tap each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. Just tap them wherever they are right now. And Lord, cause all of them to come online right now in the name of Jesus. Tap them all where they are, Father. Have mercy. Let them be able to benefit from that which you are doing online today, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's somebody I want to make sure is on right now, and I'm just going to ask. All callers are unmuted. Uh, sister, sister Martha, are you on? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. All callers are muted. We are going to pray right now some prayers. What we're t uh, t using today, the Lord told, reminded me about some of the weapons of his warfare. And we're going to use that to pray tonight. The weapons of our warfare, the treasury of snow and hail. The treasury of snow and hail. For those coming on for the first time, let me just quickly introduce the ministry to you. This is the Believers Evangelical Fellowship International. We're based in Philadelphia in the United States. And um, we're here to set the captives free. The vision of the ministry is creating fulfilled destinies. This line, this prayer line is specifically for setting captives free. It's a prayer deliverance line. It's a warfare line. And because of that, some of the things we pray, some of the prayers we pray, you might find strange, but they're prayers that are prayed in line with the word of God. Actually, even the ones we're going to use this morning, they're in line with the word of God. And I would ask that you follow it, you know. It's um, I'll tell you more about the ministry yet later if you're coming for the first time. The singles that are joining us for the first time after that singles program, you're welcome. We all had a wonderful time. The videos of those uh, two days, they are online right now. If you go to the video section of deliveranceseries.com, click on it. The videos for the two days are there. You can go back there and pray. If you missed it or you want a friend, just refer them to that place. From now also, we are recording the general uh, deliverance line. Praise the Lord. I want you to pray some prayers before we, we uh, move into the word. We're going to say, Oh Lord, load me with your weapons of warfare this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, load me with your weapons of warfare this morning in the name of Jesus. That's the first prayer point. So let's start by praying that. Lord, load me with your weapons of warfare this morning. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray the prayer where you are. Lord, load me with your weapons of warfare. Your weapons of warfare. Load me with the weapons of warfare. Load me with your weapons of warfare, O Lord. Load me with your weapons of warfare, O Lord. That's the prayer point. Father, load me, load me, load me with your weapons of warfare. Load me with your weapons of warfare, O Lord. Just go ahead and begin to pray that prayer right now. Ask the Lord to load you with his weapons of warfare in the name of Jesus. Ask him to load you. Lord, you, Lord, you, Lord, you, with the weapons of warfare in the name of Jesus. Father, load me with your weapons of warfare in the name of Jesus. Load me with your weapons of warfare, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The next prayer point, Lord, answer me by fire this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, answer me by fire this morning in the name of Jesus. That's the next prayer point. Oh, Lord, answer me, answer me by your fire this morning. In the name of Jesus, answer me by your fire this morning, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, answer me by fire. Answer me by fire. Answer me by fire, O Lord. Answer me by fire, O Lord. Answer me by fire, O Lord. Answer me by your fire. Answer me by your fire, O Lord. Answer me by your fire, O Lord. Answer me by fire, O Lord. Answer me by fire. Answer me by fire. Answer me by fire, O Lord. All the prayers I'll pray today, Lord, the word I hear, let it come by fire. Let it bring a definite change in me, O Lord. Answer me by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The next prayer point, Lord, about this time tomorrow, 
Let me hear of the death of my unrepentant evil adversaries and enemies. <laughs> it's the word of God. You'll see the word. Lord, about this time tomorrow, let me hear of the death of my unrepentant evil adversaries and enemies in the name of Jesus. Let me hear of their death if they will not repent, O oh Lord. Let me hear of their death, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let me hear of the death of my unrepentant evil adversaries and my enemies in the name of Jesus. If they will not repent, if they will not let go of me, if don't let me prosper, then let me hear that they have died, O oh Lord. Let me hear they have died. Let me hear they have died. Let me hear they have died, O oh Lord. Let me hear they have died, O oh Lord. They are repented. Let me hear that they have died, O oh Lord. Let me hear that they have died, O oh Lord. Let me hear they have died, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The next prayer point, O oh Lord, use your snow and hail to sweep away any accusations and lies from the enemy against me. Lord, use your snow, use your hail to sweep away any accusations and lies from the enemy against me in the name of Jesus. That's a prayer point. So go ahead and pray right now. O oh Lord, use your snow and hail to sweep away any accusations and lies from the enemy against me in the name of Jesus. Lord, use your snow, use your hail now in the name of Jesus. Use your snow, use your hail in the name of Jesus. Use your snow, use your hail in the name of Jesus. Use your snow, use your hail, O oh Lord. Use your snow, use your hail, Father. Use your snow, use your hail, use your snow. Use your hail, use your snow, use your hail. Use your snow, use your hail, O Lord. Use your snow, use your hail. Use your snow and your hail, O Lord, to sweep away any accusations. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. Use it, use it, Lord, use it. Use it, Lord. 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 Use it, Father. Use it, Lord. Use it, Father. Use it, Lord. Use it, Lord. Use it, Lord. Use your snow and your hail. Use it to sweep away any accusations they have against me, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The final prayer point before we start the word. Any power that has sworn to disgrace me. Any power that has sworn to disgrace my children, to shame me, to shame my children. Disgrace yourself. Shame yourself this morning in the name of Jesus. Any power that has sworn to shame me, to disgrace me, shame yourself yourself this morning in the name of Jesus. Shame yourself. Disgrace yourself in the name of Jesus. Shame yourself. Disgrace yourself in the name of Jesus. Shame yourself. Disgrace yourself this morning. Any power that has sworn to shame and disgrace me, shame yourself. Disgrace yourself this morning in the name of Jesus. Shame yourself. Disgrace yourself this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The weapons of our warfare, the treasury of snow and hail. I want you to just quickly look at your Bibles, if you have them with you. Job 38, 22 and 23. This Job 38 is a very interesting chapter in the Bible. Because that is the chapter that shows the sovereignty and the majesty of God. If you have time, go, and go through the whole of Job 28. First thing is that it says that the Lord appeared in the whirlwind hmm. so you just go ahead and do that but i want us to focus on job 38 22 and 23 have you entered the treasury of snow or have you seen the treasury of hail have you entered the treasury of snow or have you seen the treasury of hail which i have reserved for the time of trouble for the day of battle and war have you entered the treasury of snow? Have you seen the treasury of hail, which I, the Lord, have reserved for the time of trouble, for the day of battle and war? Brethren, God has different weapons that he uses for warfare. Has different weapons he uses for warfare. Men are very, very stubborn. I mean, you and I know that because many of us are generally stubborn. Even for our pastors to speak things to us that we will listen to, it's very difficult. Before your husband can talk to you, you've answered him with three sentences. <laughs> and before your parents can talk to you, you've told them that they don't know half of what you know. That's how stubborn we all are. In the Old Testament, before the time of mercy and grave arrived, before the death of Jesus on the cross, evidenced by the shedding of his blood and our appropriation, 
God used snow and hail very actively. <laughs> we are told in Excatology 2, that is the end time ministry, that God still used these weapons to deal with men who were disobedient. You know, we can also utilize these weapons very effectively against the agents of the accuser, against the accuser of the brethren. And what do we use it for? To put them at bay or even to destroy their activities and even them when they refuse to repent and they are unrelenting. So tonight we are talking about the treasury of snow and hail. Now, I want us to look at a few passages that show you the use of the treasury of snow and hail. And then we'll use them to pray. And because we are mixing the word, hallelujah, because we are mixing the word of God with prayer, <laughs> you're going to see it's going to be like an explosive catalyst to bring quick results. If you pray very well, if you have enemies that are refusing to let you go, if you have people or you have powers that are saying, this is our slave, this is our meat. This is for us to enjoy and eat. This is the one whose blood we drink every day and you're saying you want to release them. If you have such powers or personalities, if we mix the word and we pray tonight, they're going to be buried tonight in the name of Jesus. That's the word of God. Let us look at the word like I said. Exodus 9, 18. Exodus 9, 18. He says, Behold, tomorrow about this time, that's why we we're praying that prayer. I was using the word to pray. Behold, tomorrow about this time, I will cause very heavy hail to rain down, such as has not been in Egypt since its founding until now. Behold, tomorrow about this time, I will cause very heavy hail to rain down, such as has not been in Egypt since its founding until now. When God went to deal with the Egyptians, those that have put his children in slavery and captivity for 430 years. Of course, he sent Moses, you know. And when Moses got there, he sent Moses to stand before Pharaoh. I think it was like seven times or eight times. Pharaoh felt he and his idol gods could stand the living God. When he refused to listen, God sent the hail with thunder and fire. Behold, tomorrow about this time, I will cause very heavy hail to rain down, such as has not been in Egypt since its founding until now. Let me show you Exodus 9 from 21 onwards. It says, I think I'm going to 26. It says, but he, he who did not regard the word of the Lord left his servants and his livestock in the field. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand towards heaven, like you are going to do right now, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt on man, on beast, and on every herb of the field, throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched out his rod toward heaven. God says, stretch out your hand, stretch out his rod. That's where he started being disobedient. Anyway, Moses stretched out his rod towards heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail, and fire darted to the ground. And the Lord rained hail on the land of Egypt. So there was hail, and fire mingled with the hail. So very heavy that there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since its creation, since it became a nation. And the hail struck throughout the whole land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and beast. And the hail struck every herb of the field and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. Hallelujah. <laughs> when God sends hail, he sent it with fire. You can imagine hail, those big things mixed with fire he released it from his treasury one of his weapons so you two are going to do what i said just now you are going to stretch your hand to heaven stretch your hand to heaven <laughs> stretch your hand to heaven god is showing me those who are not doing it stretch your hand to heaven right now point your finger to heaven we're going to do exactly what moses god asked moses to do Stretch it forth right now, but you are going to speak a prayer with it. You are going to say, Father, after the order of Moses in Exodus 9, 23, I stretch forth my hand right now, release hail and fire 
upon all my enemies. Consume their flock, consume their herbs, consume their houses, consume everything that is evil. Look, it doesn't have to be human beings alone. It doesn't have to be human beings alone. Powers that be, they don't have to be human beings. You are just going to stretch forth your hand and you are going to ask God to send fire down and consume every power, every power that is holding me and my family in slavery. Go ahead and begin to pray. Stretch forth your hand to heaven. Ask the Lord, ask the Lord, ask the Lord to send hail and fire to consume everything, everything that is holding me slave, like a slave, holding me as a slave, holding me as a slave, holding me as a slave. Ask the Lord, ask the Lord, come, go ahead right now, ask the Lord to send hail and fire. Lord, send hail and fire right now to consume all the enemies of my children. Send hail and fire right now in the name of Jesus. Consume their flock, consume their cattle, consume their herbs. That's the way you're praying. Those who are watching me, you can see what I'm doing right now. Ask the Lord to consume it 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 now. Ask the Lord to consume now. Ask the Lord now. Ask the Lord to consume 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 now. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You're going to decree any beast that that appears to me. Any beast, that is any animal, that appears to me in the dream. Any beast that appears to me in the dream. They're going to say, Father, send your hail right now into my dream life right now to destroy that beast. Go ahead and begin to pray right now. Any beast that appears to me in the dream, Father, send your hail. Send your hail and fire. Send your hail and fire, Lord, to consume the animal. To consume the animal, 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 consume the animal in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to do it now. Ask the Lord to do it now. Any beast that appears to me in the dream, Father, send your hail and fire. Oh, go ahead, Father, send it now. Send your hail and fire to consume the animal in the name of Jesus. Send your hail and fire to consume the animal in the name of Jesus. Send it now. Send it now. Send it now. Send it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, brethren, I think we need to intercede for somebody. The Lord said there's a sister who comes online right now. But right now she's out fornicating with a man. Can you imagine? That's incredible. Let's say, before, let's say, Father, send the hail from heaven to consume the evil love between that sister and that man in the name of Jesus. Is evil love. Love that ends up in fornication. It's not love that came from marriage, from fornication. Say, Father, send your hail from heaven right now. Let it consume the love between that our sister that should be online right now. In the name of Jesus, send it now. Send it now in the name of Jesus. Lord, send your hail and your fire to consume the evil love between that sister and the man she's following right now in sin in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want us to move to the next word. Joshua 10, 11. It says, And it happened, as they fled before Israel, and were on the descent of Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down large hailstones from heaven on them, as far as Azekah, and they died. There were more who died from the hailstones than the children of Israel killed with the sword. What situation is this? There were five kings of the Amorites in Joshua 10. They decided to fight Joshua and the Israelites at Gibeon. And God stood up for them like he's going to stand up for you and he's standing up for you right now. Remember, when the enemy comes as a flood, the Bible says the Spirit of God will raise a standard against them. So God meant these evil kings and their, king, and their kingdom so much. That is, he meant to deal with them. So but that he even caused the sun to stand still. If you read Joshua 10 in that area, I think to about 11 or 12, you see that he even caused the sun to stand still so that his children could have enough time to defeat their enemies. Not only that, when they were running away was when the Lord now sent the hail. So tonight, the Lord is going to give us enough time to wreck the enemies of our fortunes in the name of Jesus. Then when we have defeated them and they are in flight, God still wants to make a route of them. Then he will send hailstones to finish them. Say, Father, where you are right now. Father, 
all those I have defeated in battle. Father, all those I have defeated in battle. Send your hailstones to finish them off. All those I have defeated already in battle, send your hailstones, your heavy hailstones, O oh Lord. Oh, if you are praying these things, things are going to happen. Send your heavy hailstones, O oh Lord, to defeat them, to defeat them, to defeat them in the name of Jesus. Send your heavy hailstones to defeat them in the name of Jesus. Send your heavy hailstones, O oh Lord. All those I have defeated already in battle, send your heavy hailstones, O oh Lord, as a final defeat for them in the name of Jesus. Send it, Lord. Send it, Lord. Send it, Father. Send it, Lord. Send it, Lord. Send it in the name of Jesus. Send it, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to say, Father, no matter how many powers are against me, Father, no matter how many powers are against me, send your hailstones to defeat them all. Father, no matter how many powers are against me this morning, send your hailstones, send your heavy, heavy hailstones to defeat them in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray, go ahead and begin to pray right now. Ask the Lord to send the heavy hailstones and the snow to defeat them, to defeat them in the name of Jesus. To defeat them in the name of Jesus. To defeat them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Revelation 16, 17 to 21. That's another place. I want to show us another area where the Lord uses hail and snow. Revelation 16, 17 21. It says, Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. That is, it is settled. And there were noises and thunderings and lightnings. And there was a great earthquake. <laughs> there was an earthquake a week ago. Such a mighty and great earthquake. Is it a week ago or just Monday? As had not occurred since men were on the earth. Now the great city was divided into three parts. And the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon was remembered before God to give her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Oh, may we not receive the cup of wine of God's wrath in the name of Jesus. Because you have to drink it if he gives it to you. May we not receive it in Jesus' name. Bible says in verse 20 there, Revelation 16, 20, Then every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. Verse 21, And great hail from heaven fell upon men, each. Fell upon how? each that is you can stand hail and it will target one person and it will get that person praise the lord men blaspheme god because of the plague of the hail since that plague was exceedingly great hmm. bible says in the end time i'm just trying to give a commentary on it now god intends like now to deal with babylonian systems now what are babylonian systems many of us might not know babylonian systems are wall systems things cooked up by men to make themselves comfortable <laughs> the things that men have cooked up to make themselves what comfortable at the expense of god and his rules and his laws hailstones hailstones will fall when men begin to use your call to establish and promote themselves all these masonic people you see them they put the sign on their cars they're not even afraid so i even saw one wearing a t-shirt the other day Lord's number, so and so, and say, what? In this day and age, so people are so proud, they're not even afraid to show that they will serve the enemy anymore. So those who use your call to establish and promote themselves, hailstones are going to fall on them. When men begin to marry men, and governments put policies and laws in place for women to marry you women, you begin to see hailstones. You begin to see hurricanes. You begin to see sudden earthquakes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Godly men, brethren, will also suffer, not because they are not good, but because the ungodly one will do things to good men and women, like not having jobs because of your religious affiliation, or the color of your skin, or your race. That's what counts to people is not that God, men, people are serving God. No, no, no. It's rather that because. You went somewhere and you said the name of Jesus in public. 
it's already causing commotion. But the Bible says hailstones will fall on those who are perpetrating it. So that is another way that men are going to fall. If they don't take time, the hailstones will come and it will dissipate a lot of men. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 28, 16 to 17. I want to show you another place there. It says, Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation. Somebody say hallelujah there. A tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily. Also, I will make justice the measuring line and righteousness the plummet. The hail will sweep away the refuge of lies and the waters will overflow where the hiding place. So there will be no place to hide. Hail and snow, you know they are water, frozen in different forms. One is water vapor, one is just a, a frozen, you know, an act that's frozen into big balls. Waters will overflow the hiding place of liars. Remember that Jesus came as the precious cornerstone and as a hail, he will sweep away the refuge of lies from the father of lies and his demons. Praise the Lord. Psalm 18, 12 to 14. He says, from the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed with hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered from heaven and the Most High uttered his voice. Hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe. This is the Lord working. Lightnings in abundance and he vanquished them. The voice of God did what? It manifested as hailstones and coals of fire to scatter the foe, to scatter my foe and your foe. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. O Lord, O Lord, arise. The enemies of the children of God are the enemies of God. The Bible says his voice will manifest as hailstones and coals of fire. Tonight, this morning, wherever you are, to scatter the foe. And he ended up vanquishing them. That is, we have victory when we use hailstones and coals of fire. Hallelujah. I've told you we are going to mix the word with prayer. <laughs> Something has to give. Haggai 2, 14 to 19. It says, well, before I read, let me just say a small comment here. Even when the Lord uses the hail to chastise his children, when they turn back to build his house, you know what he does? He blesses them. Haggai 2, 14 to 19. It says, then Haggai said, so it is with this people and this nation in my sight, declares the Lord. Whatever they do and whatever they offer there is defiled. But look at what God says. Now give careful thought to this from this day on. Consider how things were before one stone was laid on another in the Lord's temple. How were things before you began to build for God? How were things before you began to serve God? He says, when anyone came to a heap of 20 measures, there were only 10. That is, there was never enough. When anyone went to a wine vat to draw 50 measures, there was only 20. It was never enough. I struck all the work of your hands with blight, mildew, and hail. Yet you did not return to me, declares the Lord. From this day on, from this 24th day of the ninth month, give careful thought to the day when the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid. We're in the ninth month right now. Give careful thought. Is there yet any seed left in the barn? Until now the vine and the fig tree, the pomegranate and the olive tree have not borne fruit. It says, but from this day on, I will bless you. Somebody say amen there. What the Lord is saying there is, even though I have used hail to deal with my children sometimes, when they misbehave, he says, when they begin to build my house, when they begin to build my house, he says, from then I begin to bless them. So my prayer for you is that you begin to build the house of God. What are you doing in the house of God? It's not all devil, devil, witch, witches and wizards. Sometimes we are the witch and the wizard. I told one of my sisters, was it yesterday? I said, if God decides to kill your witches and wizards, you will die first. You will die first. Many of us are our witches and our wizards. But the Lord said, even then, when you begin to build 
my house there will be enough there will be abundance so you need to build the house of the lord what are you doing in your local assembly are you giving your time are you giving your material are you giving your offerings are you giving your tithes are you taking care of the men of god what are you doing in this local assembly something interesting happened i remember that there was a, an offering collected last saturday we didn't get any offering in the ministry <laughs> nobody gave an offering although we did pray and i believe that god will touch them but if you want blessings to come if you do want blessings to come you have to necessarily put the stones together in the house of god that's the last word i want to touch on and then we begin to pray right now let god begin to move on our behalf one particular enemy i want us to deal with tonight excuse me with the weapons of hail and snow is the enemy that causes joblessness and lack of promotion the lord told me at the meeting we had on thursday all these meetings are wonderful those of you in the philadelphia area i don't know what you're doing at home on thursday evenings make space brethren look if uh, president obama said come to the white house to collect a million dollars at thursday between 8 and 10 p.m you'll be there there's no job that will not allow you to take that one million dollars oh that cna job you will leave it <laughs> even if he doesn't say come and collect money if he says come and meet with me many of us will forsake everything because we believe he's somebody who's great so how about god when you're in, if you're in the philadelphia area on thursday it should meet you where we are praying the prayers are hot go and ask those who are there yesterday you need to be there. May God depend on you in Jesus' name. I said we want to attack the enemy that causes joblessness and lack of promotion. Maybe you are you're in a job or maybe you have your own business and the business is not being promoted or you are just at home, you are jobless. I want us to address it with this thing tonight. So where you are right now, begin to appreciate the Lord for what he's worth. He's a worthy God tonight. He's a worthy God this morning. So just tell him, Lord, you alone are worthy. I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you. Where you are, begin to do that right now. Tell him you thank him for what he's going to do this morning. Thank you for what he's able to do. Thank him. Thank him. Where you are right now, just begin to thank him. Begin to thank him and appreciate him right now. Begin to thank him and appreciate him. Begin to thank him and appreciate him. Begin to thank him and appreciate him. Begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate him. He is a worthy God. He is an awesome God. Nothing is too hard for him. He's our father. He's our friend. He's our shield. He's our defender. He's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. He's the I am that I am. He's the bright and morning star. He's my God. He's my savior. Lord, we bless you. Just begin to thank him. Begin to thank him, brethren. Begin to thank the Lord, omnipotent, everlasting. He's more than enough, more than able. He can do all things. Just thank him. 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 Just thank the Lord. Thank him where you are. 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 Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank him. Thank him. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. Thank him where you are. Thank him where you are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Eternal King of glory, we thank you. Eternal King of glory, we honor you. Eternal King of glory, we bless you. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Look, I want you to touch your head where you are. Those who can see me can see I'm touching mine right now. Touch the, your head where you are because you're going to pray. You're going to pray. Touch your head where you are. Hold it. Um, grab hold of your head. And if you are like me, you don't have any hair on the head, then it makes it much easier. Praise the Lord. Just grab a hold of your head. First prayer. Every enemy of my job and welfare receive the hailstones and fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my job and welfare receive the hailstones and fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every enemy, every enemy of my job, of my welfare, receive the hailstones and fire of God in the name of Jesus. Receive the hailstones and fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my job or my welfare, receive the hailstones and fire of God in the name of Jesus. Receive it now, receive it now. Receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Ask them to receive it now, ask them to receive it now, ask them to receive it now. The enemy of your job, of your welfare, ask them now, 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 ask them to receive it 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 now, 
Ask them to receive it now. Ask them to receive it now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. You are going to decree every enemy of Believers Evangelical Fellowship causing embargoes. Receive the hell, hailstone and fire of God in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for this ministry for a change. Every enemy of Believers Evangelical Fellowship International receive the hailstones and fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of Believers Evangelical Fellowship receive the hailstones and fire of God. Receive the hailstones and fire of God. Receive the hailstones and fire of God. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray for the expansion of the ministry. Look, if the ministry expands, it affects you. It affects you. So you're going to say, Father, use your hailstones and fire to expand this ministry. That is to break every barrier for the ministry to move forward. Go ahead and begin to pray right now. Lord, use your hailstones. Use your hailstones and fire to expand Believers Evangelical Fellowship. Break all the barriers. Break all the spiritual barriers. Break all the financial barriers. Break all the barriers of human beings in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, use your hailstones and fire to break every barrier break every barrier, bring down every mountain, fill every valley in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Next prayer point. Powers not allow me to enjoy the welfare of God upon my life. Receive the blight, mildew, and hail of God in Jesus' name. We're using the word to pray. Powers not allow me to enjoy the welfare of God upon my life. Right now, Receive the blight, mildew, and hail of God in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray so you can get that job. Go ahead and pray. Powers not allow me to enjoy the welfare of God upon my life. Receive the blight, mildew, and hail of God in the name of Jesus. Receive the blight, mildew, and hail of God in the name of Jesus. Receive the blight, mildew, and hail of God in the name of Jesus. Powers not allow me to enjoy the welfare of God upon my life. Receive blight, mildew, hail of God in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody has a landlady. Is it landlady, Lord? Yes, landlady. Somebody has a landlady. That landlady is involved in witchcraft. Yes, you, you thought witchcraft was only in Africa? No. They have them here in America too. You have a landlady who is involved in witchcraft. You are going to decree. Every power in my environment, every contrary power in my environment, die for my sake. You're going to use the hail and snow of God. Say, Father, I release your hail. I release your snow. Say it again. Father, I release your hail. I release your snow. Any environmental power or any wicked environmental power deny me my welfare, my job, my rights, be destroyed by the hailstone of God, be destroyed by the hailstone of God, be destroyed by the hailstone of God, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the hailstone of God. Ask the, the hailstones of God to destroy that person or that personality right now. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed by the hailstones of God. Be destroyed by the hailstones of God. Be destroyed by the hailstones of God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I pray concerning that person right now. That woman still expects you to bring rent to her. Meanwhile, she's doing witchcraft to ensure that you don't stay on a job. Right now, let God substitute that woman's blessings you take over those blessings right now because she's been stealing your own blessings you that person right now i said by the power and the anointing of the holy ghost oh by the power vested in this ministry and the anointing on me right now we take back every of your blessings in the hand of that woman and we replace it with hailstones and fire in the name of jesus we replace it with hailstones and fire in the name of jesus we replace it with hailstones and fire in jesus name we pray amen now, where you are right now, pray this next one very, very aggressive. Say, snow, hailstones, cause of fire of God, make a way for me to receive my job and promotion. Snow, hailstones, and cause of fire of God, 
Make a way for me to receive my job and promotion in the name of Jesus. Make a way for me to receive my job and promotion in the name of Jesus. Why don't you pray aggressively? You need the job. You need the promotion and you are still not praying. You are looking and you are not praying. Go ahead and pray. Snow, hailstones, coals of fire of God. Make a way for me to receive my job and promotion in the name of Jesus. Make a way for me to receive my job, to receive my promotion in the name of Jesus. Make a way for me to receive my job, to receive my marriage and promotion in the name of Jesus. Make a way for me to receive my job, my finances in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. That heavily pregnant woman, God is telling me to tell you to take it easy. Take it easy. You don't want to deliver the baby tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Every Babylonian system working against my production be destroyed by hailstones about the weight of a talent. We are told in one of the words we read there that the hailstones were about the weight of a talent. That's what we were told there. That the hailstones that fell were about the weight of a talent. Those aggressive hailstones. So you are going to use that same word right now. You are going to use that word to pray about hailstones that are about the weight of of a talent those can be very very small hailstones they must be very very big hailstones so if father every babylonian system working against my production against my productivity be destroyed by hailstones about the weight of a talent in the name of jesus be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed in the name of jesus command them to be destroyed now be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed about the weight of a talent in the name of jesus be destroyed be destroyed in the name of Jesus, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I speak to that girl right now. That girl manifesting marine right now. I ask right now that the power of God should slay you where you are right now. Slay you right now and take the marine powers off from you right now. In the name of Jesus, you cannot be manifesting marine. You cannot be showing up marine where we are praying right now. So right now, I address those marine spirits right now by the blood of Jesus in that home where that girl is right now, I command the fire of God to go right now and hit you right now. And when it hits you right now, I command it to drag away and consume every marine power that is there in their entirety. Let them be routed. Let them come out now. Let them be rooted out now. Let them be rooted out now. Let them be routed out now in the name of Jesus. Be routed now. Be routed now in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Next prayer point. Oh Lord, Make a total rout of my household enemies. Finish them off with your hailstones. Oh, you don't know you have household enemies? Brethren, everybody has household enemies. The Bible says your, your enemies, the first of them, shall be your household. The Bible does not lie. Lord, make a total rout of all my household enemies. Finish them off with your hailstones. If they will not repent, Lord, finish them up, finish them up, finish them up, finish them off, finish them off. You better pray the prayer. And if something happens, that's your business. Lord, make a total rout of my household enemies. Finish them off with your hailstones in the name of Jesus. Finish them off with your hailstones in the name of Jesus. Finish them off with your hailstones in the name of Jesus. Make a total rout, O Lord, of all my household enemies. Finish them off with your hailstones in the name of Jesus. Finish them off with your hailstones in the name of Jesus. Make a total rout of all my household enemies. Finish them off with your hailstones, O Lord Jesus. Finish them off with your hailstones, Lord Jesus. Finish them off with your hailstones, Lord Jesus. Finish them off, finish them off, finish them off in the name of Jesus. Finish them off in the name of Jesus. Finish them off in the name of Jesus. Make a total rout of all my household enemies, Lord. Finish them off with your hailstones in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Final prayer point for tonight. You're going to say, Lord, let your treasuries of snow and hail open up and attack evil witches and wizards in my environment. We just said it just now as the word came. In my church, in my family, in my place of work. Even on this prayer line, if there are evil witches and wizards, because you know what? Anywhere the children of God congregate, the enemy will want to go there to see what is happening there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, so, oh Lord, let your treasuries of snow and hail open up, attack evil witches, wizards in my environment, on this prayer line, on the in the church, in the family, in the place of work, in the name of Jesus. Ask them to open up now. Ask the treasures of snow and hail to open up, open up, open up, open up, in the name of Jesus. Open up now. 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 Ask them to open up in the name of Jesus. 
Ask them to open up. Ask the treasuries to open up now in the name of Jesus. Ask the treasuries to open up now. 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 Oh, ask them to open up now. Ask them to open up now. Ask them to open up now. Ask them to open up now in the name of Jesus. Ask the treasuries of snow and hail open up. Destroy the witches and wizards in my environment in the name of Jesus. Destroy the ones in my church in the name of Jesus. Destroy the fa- those in my family in the name of Jesus. Destroy the ones operating my place of work in the name of Jesus. Lord, destroy them. Lord, destroy them. Go ahead and do what you got to do, Lord. Have mercy on me and destroy them in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Where you are, just begin to thank God. Right now, it's just one o'clock. I'm trying to be more efficient, you know, with the time. Praise the Lord. So people can go to bed. I know people have to go to work. So right now, I want you to begin to op- operate in that spirit right now. Begin to appreciate God. Because even as we're praying, certain things have happened right now. Just begin to appreciate All God where you are. are begin to appreciate God where you are. Begin to appreciate Him right now. Go ahead and appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Appreciate Him right now. Just appreciate Him. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate Daddy. Yes, I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Daddy, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Daddy, we thank you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 There are two sisters in the same room right now. And there's an evil presence right there where you guys are right now. There are two sisters. How you know who I'm talking about? Both of you, you are sisters. Same father, same mother. Just keep quiet, please. Everybody keep quiet. Keep quiet, please. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. We can hear you. Keep quiet. Lord, I ask right now by your power, by your mercy, let your angels go and flush out. Go and flush out right now. And then go and flush them out now. Flush them out. Flush them out. Flush them out. Flush them out. Flush out that dark power right now from that family right now. Let it flush. be flushed out. Yes. Let the hailstones of God go and flush them out now. Flush them out now. Let them be flushed out now in the name of Jesus. Let them be flushed out. Let them be flushed out. Let them be flushed out. Aha. Let them begin to hear the voice of God. And let that voice of God become hailstones for them right now. Those evil powers. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. After this prayer, somebody's going to see a snail in their house. Snail. In North America, a mollusk. You're going to see a snail. Very strange. When you see the snail, pour anointing oil on the. It's a bastard, isn't it? Because it has no father, it has no mother. <laughs> pour anointing oil on it, and find a way to burn it. Maybe you burn it on your stove if you have if you have a flame stove. Burn it off. Make sure you destroy it. It's not an it's not an ordinary snail. You're gonna see a mollusk. You're gonna see maybe in front of your house or some, somewhere anywhere near your house. You're gonna burn it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Where you are also, like I said, begin to appreciate God again. Begin to thank God. I just want the Lord to speak. Just to speak. Somebody says your ministry is that of prophetic deliverance. Not really. The ministry is just deliverance. <laughs> but we use the spirit of prophecy a lot on this line. Just begin to appreciate God. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jehovah. The Lord is saving somebody from a very fatal accident right now, as I'm praying right now. Daddy, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you because that timing has been changed. The evil timing that might result in death. We have dislodged that evil clock right now. We command the hailstones of God to go and destroy that evil clock, setting evil timing in the name of Jesus. Let the evil clock be destroyed now. And I command that evil time to stop forthwith right now. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and still begin to thank God, brethren. Just be appreciating the Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. Somebody's going to discover a snake near their house. Don't be afraid. When you discover the snake, you God will give you the power. I'm not talking of in the dream. Physically. You're going to see one. God is going to give you the power to kill the snake. Don't mind any anybody saying, if it's a snake, it's dangerous. You kill the snake. It's not your business. If somebody's pet, it's an evil snake. You kill the snake. Kill it first before you ask questions. 
Please don't play with it. Kill it. I'm looking at the black snake right now. And it's physical. It's going to appear. You kill it. Don't worry. Father, we rain hailstones and fire over every evil snake in the spirit realm or in the physical realm. Let them be consumed by fire now in the name of Jesus. Be consumed by fire now in the name of Jesus. Be consumed by fire now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I see some masquerades dancing. Dancing. Look at them dancing right now. Oh, let us set them. Let us set them ablaze right now. We set these masquerades ablaze right now. Let them catch fire now. Where you are, begin to set them ablaze now. Command every masquerade in your place of uh, origin right now to catch fire now. Command them to catch fire now. Command them to catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. This summoning masquerade. Command them to catch fire now, catch fire now. Catch fire now, catch fire now, in the name of Jesus. Every summoning masquerade, catch fire now, catch fire now, catch fire now, in the name of Jesus. Catch fire now, catch fire now. In Jesus' name we pray. Appreciate God again. We have almost, we're almost done. I appreciate the Lord again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the rescues. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray before we leave now. Let us pray for the brethren that are watching over, uh, that have terminal sicknesses of any kind. Anybody representing, maybe our friends or those who are even online. All callers are unmuted. Let us pray for them right now. Let us ask the Lord in the name of Jesus to destroy every hole. That sickness has over them. Let's begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray right now. Father, Lord, we pray. We pray, Lord God Almighty, Father, for every hold of sickness, my Lord. Cancer, my Lord. We terminate cancer. We terminate it now with the hailstones of God right now. Yes, we terminate cancer. We terminate kidney disease. We terminate heart disease now. Mental disease now. We contaminate aortic disease, diabetes. We terminate it now with the fire of God. We terminate them tumors now. We command them to dry up now in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Is there anybody online that is, that is, um, you know, what, what was the word we call it now? The ones that are doing chemotherapy. Is anybody online like that right now? Is there anybody undergoing chemotherapy that is online right now? Praise the Lord. Is there anybody undergoing kidney dialysis online right now? Praise the Lord. Why don't we pray for all those who are going through that right now? Let us just pray for them in the name of Jesus. All callers are muted. Father, we pray for all those who are undergoing those kind of diseases, O oh Lord. Even though they might not be online today, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus. We pray for each and every one of them, O oh Lord, that your mercy will speak for them in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak for them. 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 Let your mercy speak, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, let your mercy speak. 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 In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Eternal King of glory, Lord, today, Lord, I put all these children of yours with one issue or another. Even the ones that don't have issues right now, Lord, I set them all at your feet right now. And I ask that you take over their yokes and their burdens today, Lord. We ask, O oh Lord, that you take over everybody's yoke, everybody's burden in the name of Jesus. Let it be with signs following, immediate, definite signs following, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. We give you the praise in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Somebody say amen where they are.